good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some insane epic aew action figure news absolutely mind-blowing honestly like i i would have never thought this i didn't think this was even a possibility and this is actually old news but i did want to cover it on the channel because of how monumental it is and i think it deserves its own video to discuss and today we're going to dive into it man aew has a new signee and it is not somebody that's going to come out in 2021 and wrestle for the company or anything like that man but it is certainly a legendary superstar and it is none other than Owen Hart. They have signed Owen Hart to a merchandise and likeness deal. I don't know the full extent of it. I didn't read the little excerpt or the little newsletter or whatever it was that was put out but Owen Hart is a part of AEW so they can, you know, they can create merch for him. They can create, you know, anything they want. They can, you know, they can create things in his likeness including action figures. Jeremy even took to Twitter, said it was confirmed and he did the same thing for CM Punk. He did this same thing for Brian Danielson. He did the same thing for Adam Cole. And now here he is doing it for Owen Hart, man. This is absolutely massive news given everything that surrounds Owen Hart and everything about his career. You know, his family and his wife said for a long time that we would never see things like this ever again. You know, she was uh, she, she was very upset with WWE and rightfully so. And, uh, you know, all the different things like that. You had lawsuits. You had multiple things involved in that whole deal there. And uh, just rest in peace to the legend, man. This is amazing news now that we can celebrate him and celebrate his career with action figures, man, and, and action figures that we love and we love to, you know, display and everything like that, man. It's really going to bring our displays to life, our shelves to life, and I cannot wait to see what they look like, man, but there's a few different renders here. Now, some of these come from Adam Rich's art, and they look incredible. I think they look really fantastic. These kind of look like elites a little bit. I mean, I guess they kind of do look like ultimate, not ultimates. They kind of do look, look, look like unrivaled, actually, now that I'm looking at it, you stupid idiot moron. You got the interchangeable heads. We're looking at the King of the Ring 1994 gear here, man, and it says, this figure commemorates when Owen made history on June 19, 1994 by conquering three opponents in one night to claim his right place atop the throne and become wrestling royalty. Each figure includes an alternate head with unique facial expressions and authenticated ring entrance looks such as sunglasses, headbands, and different hairstyles. Interchangeable hands allow Owen to strike all his signature poses. Really sick attire there. Uh, I'm hoping we get all kinds of them. I think we will. You know, I, I guess it'll be a Luminaries collection if I had to guess at least the first one. Maybe they're going to stick him into one of these unmatched series, you know, with the Luminaries attached to it. I think the unmatched series carries the Luminaries. I don't think that's the Unrivaled. So the Luminaries section of the AEW figures, man, it's actually going to be like Legends and Flashbacks. You guys know that with Series 2, they're doing the Sting figure. I think it's a Walmart exclusive. In I think Series 3 or 4, they're doing Chris Jericho. Or maybe they're doing a Luminary every other set or something like that, because you also have the Chase variant figure, so really cool, man. AEW and Jeremy and everybody involved at Jazz Wears with the All Elite Wrestling action figures does such a fantastic job of just creating and bringing enjoyment and joy and fun to the collecting and to the hobby and everything like that, man. Like, I've had so much fun collecting these AEW figures, and this is just another step in that direction, man. Just so awesome to see Owen Hart finally commemorated in a beautiful modern action figure. We've seen beautiful customs. We've seen, you know, flat flashback figures from back in the day, but these are truly going to change the game. These are just mock-up images. Um, I don't remember who made this specific mock-up image in the packaging. The other guy was the Adam Hughes guy. I don't think this is the Adam Hughes guy. I could be wrong. I think it's 3XR Studio Customs on Twitter, and they, this looks beautiful, man. He even has it in the box, the pink backing. I don't know if he'll have, you know, commemorative packaging or if there'll be any pink highlights on the packaging or anything like that, but these look absolutely brilliant, man. This is awesome. I just can't wait for it and everything like that, man. This is just awesome. It's just such a huge... Like, AEW in 2021 has literally shattered just all expectations. Like, it's absolutely unbelievable some of the things that they've been able to do. They have been able to unlock doors that have been locked for years. They've been able to crack open and break through glass ceilings that we thought would never be broken. Like, this is insane what they've been able to accomplish. If you just go back to the beginning uh, or just the craziness that is 2021, man. I mean, you have CM Punk return. You have, they, they got Brian Danielson to come over. They got Adam Cole to come over. They got Owen Hart on a merch deal. I mean, these things are just unthinkable. Like, if you were to tell people that, 
a year ago, they probably would be like, are you insane, Brad? So this is just such a cool thing, man. I cannot wait to see what the figure actually looks like and what series it's going to be in. Uh, we kind of, kind of, you know, we already know what Unrivaled Series 8, 9. I don't think they've announced 10 just yet, but we know what some of the, the Unmatched series look like. So it's probably going to be a little while unless, this is a big unless, unless they do like a ringside exclusive, which I think would be really cool with pink packaging and black packaging and like some different things going on with the hearts. That would be beautiful too. So I can't wait to see how they do the head sculpts and the accessories. This is going to be a legendary figure, man, and rightfully so. So awesome. I'm so happy for other collectors that have been waiting on this day or that have been sitting on this just waiting and waiting and praying for a day where they could get some merch like this and action figures like this for Owen. So this is awesome, man. I cannot wait to see what the figure looks like, but I had to cover this in its own video. I could not leave this stone unturned. Again, it needed its own video. I wanted to get on here, get the reaction and everything like that. We have plenty of unmatched figures coming soon as well. Unmatched Series 2 featuring MJF, Wardlow, Tecanti, all those different characters is actually up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles, guys, so definitely go check in on that. Get in on all the good stuff. That way you do not miss out on that because you guys know that these things are not always guaranteed at retail. I've seen one set of unmatched figures since they released, so you know, you never know what could happen. You definitely want to get your pre-order in. That way you guarantee it. Like, I know it sucks to bite the bullet, uh, you know, to pay 125 bucks or 130 or sometimes upwards of 150 but it's much better to go ahead and pay that up front. If you're able to, go ahead and just bite the bullet on it. That way you don't spend the extra money in gas and the extra money and time and stress of, you know, trying to find them in the wild. Now, I know the, the hunt is part of the, it's, it's part of the hobby. Like, I love the hunt. I love going on toy hunts. I'm usually disappointed, but uh, I've hit, I've hit pretty, pretty regularly here lately, but the AEW figures are never a guarantee, and I would hate for you guys to not pre-order them and then uh, miss out on them, never find them at retail, and then they double, triple in price, and then you never get your hands on them, and then you have to pay it way after market, and then it's like, well, Jesus Christ, if I'm going to pay $60 a figure, probably should have just forked out the 150 or the 150 20 in the beginning and you save yourself a bunch of headaches but i do understand the hunt i love the thrill of the hunt it's what makes it super fun and i know a lot of people don't even order offline at all like they all they're all retail collectors let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are online or only retail or a little bit of both you guys know that i'm both i order i i go I, i'm constantly on the search for ebay deals mercari deals amazon deals constantly on the lookout for that to grow the collection and then we obviously do toy hunts here on the channel and every time I go to the grocery store, I go and check to check the figure. You know, you, you got to go check the figures. Uh, it's actually the first thing I do when I walk into Walmart, Target. I head immediately to the toy slash figure section. Check out what they got just in case, you know, there's somebody in the store. Because what if I go in the store and I go to the apples or the, the milk or the cereal and I'm just chilling and I'm taking my precious time. While, while I'm doing that, little Bobby Sue is over there and he's going to the figure aisle at the same time as me. And he gets all the figures that I could have gotten, maybe a chase. Maybe uh, a certain part I need, maybe an unmatched series figure. And he went over that. He went to the figures first before me because I decided to waste 15 minutes looking at the cereal, and Bobby Sue beat me there. So immediately when you go into the stores, go ahead and just go ahead and hit up the figures slash toy aisle, man. That way you knock it out, it's done. You don't have to think about it anymore. They didn't have it, man. It's 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 okay. They didn't have the figures you wanted, and now the grocery store trip is completely ruined. And I don't care anymore. Let's go home. Who needs cereal? So that's how that goes. But kind of went off on a little tangent there, but the main part of the video has been covered, man. Owen Hart signed by AEW. Huge freaking news. Insane news. I still I still can't even believe we're talking about it. Like, just speaking it makes it seem crazy, man. But uh, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video on Owen Hart and joining AEW and getting figures and all this stuff, man. A huge shout-out to the people that made the renders, that made the little uh, the, the custom packaging and the custom figures, man. They look insane. Huge shout-out to those guys. So uh, definitely go give them a follow, man. But Owen Hart is all elite, and it's great news, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm about to uh, get on the edit grind because uh, I got to edit this vindication so I can get it up. It's literally, I'm, I'm shooting for a Saturday afternoon or a Saturday at noon type-ish. We'll see where that goes. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me. You cross the line.